Hello everybody and welcome to the fourth episode of the News Widget Podcast. I am Ramin, you obviously know me if you're watching this. I run this YouTube channel and I'm one of the hosts of this podcast and... This is Joseph from Joseph D Tech and this is, again, the fourth episode. Yes it is. So, um, I'm going to open up with our, <clears throat> our first story, which is friend.com now I'm not actually 100% sure too much about this so I think Joseph would you like to talk about this the um our oh, friend.com so I actually did not know about this until I just now read about it so apparently this I don't know who this website originally belonged to but now it has been purchased by an AI chatbot company for 1.8 million dollars which was a part of their 2.5 million dollar budget to start the company so uh -huh. yeah and everybody uh -huh. thought it was a joke yeah everybody thought it was a joke and it turns out it wasn't so it's like an ai friend yeah that they can't do this anymore and they bought the, <laughs> the domain for 1.8 million dollars just for that Goodness me, that's a lot of money just for a useless AI thing. <laughs> Some of my friends swear by AI, and I'm just like, what's wrong with these people? It's it's too much. Okay, um. that's just dumb at this point. So, um, our next story: Intel is falling off. It's yep. a recurring, it's a reoccurring thing, but Intel is falling off. Now, I have to do the next story because of the next story's context and me knowing the context. So, Joseph, would you like to talk about Intel laying off people on top of all of the horrible things that is happening to Intel already? Yeah, so um, Intel has laid off 15,000 employees for also AI purposes. Shut up about the AI guys. Just the, <laughs> we don't want more AI. We want we want stability, not AI. Yeah. So uh, they and they basically spent a bunch of money on AI research, and now they don't have enough money to pay their employees, so they fired them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is how Intel goes bankrupt. I'm calling it. Intel's gonna go bankrupt soon. Oh man. Now. Who here likes brain rot? Do you guys like brain rot? Because our next story is pretty stupid. Uh, I don't even want to talk about this one. It's just so, so ridiculously stupid. Uh, uh, so there's this really popular YouTube series. What's it called, Joseph? What's it called? Oh no. Oh no. I don't want to say it. <laughs> It's called Really Bad Show That Three Year Olds Watch <laughs> by Really Bad YouTuber with 40 million subscribers. Yeah, I'll I'll put it I'll put it in the uh, I'll put it in the, <laughs> the media box up there. So this particular show has decided to sue Gary's mod, which is a video game. Now, why did they sh sue Gary's mod? I don't even understand no this. Like, actually, what? I don't know any more context, so they're just, like, trying to take down Gary's mod because Gary's mod is infringing on the... <gasps> Gary's mod existed before your stupid show existed. What's Gary's wrong mod with existed, you, man? like... Um, Gary's mod is literally just Half-Life, but a sandbox version. It's It's been around since, like, 2008, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. This one's dumb. This one is so, so, so dumb. Logitech is making a new mouse. And it and requires a subscription mouse, service. Exactly! <laughs> and Joseph, uh, your camera is in 144p right now. Oh, uh, uh, it's... I mean, it, it's Never pretty mind, good on my it's, it's at like 480 now. Okay, okay. Well, probably because I'm in a completely different country and I have the worst Wi-Fi imaginable. Alright, <clears throat> so, uh, this mouse is called the Logitech Forever mouse. And you have to pay a subscription. 
Yep. Good, good, good. Yeah, uh, actually, I don't know if you have to, because the subscription service is only for, it's only for the software updates, like rolling software updates, which doesn't even make sense in a mouse anyway. So I'm, I'm really not sure. I'm assuming that this is probably going to go similarly to the whole BMW heated seats thing last year. Yeah, Remember that's that? Kinda, not really, but I know BMW it. charging. Oh seats. yeah, I, I think I do kind of remember that. Now, you know how people were complaining that the iPhone 15 colors look absolutely horrible? Uh, well, yeah. oh, as yeah, Joseph yeah, yeah. will tell you, as Joseph will tell us, the iPhone 16 colors have been leaked, they've changed from the previous leak, and they look even worse than yeah, the 15 have, uh, colors. We have like actual <laughs> pictures of the phone in all the different colors. In the I'm actually, gonna show you guys the picture. Yeah. The sixteen colors? I mean, they're not awful. They're not that great, but they're not terrible. But the sixteen Pro Max colors there's three colors. The gray, Max black, colors? and white. I've never, I didn't it's actually gray. see sixteen yeah. Pro Max. Colors. Oh, I only saw the normal 16 colors actually. Uh, so let's see. Um, I sent it to you. <laughs> it's, it's, there's no, no color. There's zero colors. It's they took shades. the 15 pro colors. They took the 15 pro colors and they took the blue one, which is the best looking one, and they looked at it and they're like, uh, this looks too good. I'm just gonna throw that away. Oh, boring black, my favorite. Oh, natural titanium, the worst color ever, my favorite. Yeah, it's oh, just Oh, white, gray. boring old white, my favorite. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this apple. This is a phone that has a decent color. Apple, apple, Tempted. please take, please bring color back. Please bring the iPhone Tempted. 5C back. Yes. Tempted to switch, honestly. I'm very tempted to switch. What phone is that? It's some Sony like thing. It has like 120 hertz. Oh, and it has Sony. three cameras. I think it's Sony like an Xperia One cool. something. Yeah, those are. I actually really need cool. your help. I actually need your help with something to do with this phone, but I will. Talk, we'll talk about that after the filming. Our next story is. I released a new video. Yeah. That's right. I I never I never release new videos, you know. I I never upload. And at this current moment in time, it is at 67 views. Um this video is something I've been working on for quite a while. Um it is my rating games video that I have been working on for like the past week and a half. I spent way too much time working on it and Joseph here supplied the footage for when I talked about BMNG from one of his old videos so thank you very much yep. for that Joseph yeah that was a uh, yeah I have like what three BMNG videos up I think you mean three bro you I swear you have more than three no way you only have three let me just open up my Firefox browser which is a t about 155 times better than Arc you oh think God. I'm joking, guys? Arc browser. Look at me. I hate Arc so much. Oh no. We're gonna get dislikes and hate comments now because I don't like Arc. Trust me. Oh boy. You have five Beam and G. Oh, five? I think there's no. P yeah, I think there's no point in Arc's existence whatsoever. Other than just like existing and being a concept. It's a good concept, but it is a terrible execution. Alright, one of the best apps has been taken off of the Mac App Store and now when you open it, it gives you a warning saying this app is out of date. <sighs> oh yeah, uh, Oh wait, I literally just downloaded that like a few months ago. It, it doesn't work anymore, like at all. You can you can still use it, 
But the thing is, if you turn on your computer and you launch the app for the first time, it gives you an error, and then you have to restart the app before you can use it. And uh. they took it off of the Mac App Store, meaning that if you haven't downloaded it before and it's not in your purchases, then you're never, ever going to be able to get it. Oh, that sucks. I, ho I hope they release the. Uh, I hope they release like a new version. They did. But it's only oh, for Apple actually? Silicon. Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> Elon, release an Intel version or else I will delete my Twitter account. There's <laughs> probably like you probably wouldn't even care. 80% of the Macs, yeah. 80% of the Macs are still Intel, isn't it? Like Probably more because Apple Silicon is too expensive. And it's really not the best because of ARM. Unless you want the base model, then you can go buy an M1 MacBook Air for like 300 bucks. 300, what? Yeah, this is England for you. So, nowadays, now, when you go into Adobe Photoshop 2021, in 2024, it gives you an error. So oh, yeah. That, yeah, Joseph, you can you talk about this? Because the next one is kind of England related, so I need to talk about it. So, um, yeah, I don't really know too much about this, really, but what I do know is they're basically just unlicensing all the old versions. Yeah. Like, 2021 Everyone and Everyone loves you, Adobe. Everyone loves you. You're definitely not, like, the world's worst company. It makes sense, because if people are pirating Photoshop, that's going to be older versions like that. There is ways True. to fix it. There is a lot of ways to fix the issue. Mm -hmm. But so yeah, Adobe is basically just blocking all the apps, which is yeah. kind of dumb. This episode, we have quite a lot of stories. The next one is the UK-based store known as CEX. Not going to pronounce it the way they pronounce it on the ads. Not getting, not getting demonetized today. <laughs> no, I'm not getting demonetized before mm. I get monetized. So I'm going to get demonetized afterwards. So, <laughs> they have started selling the Apple Vision Pro. I don't know who walks into CEX and is like, here, give me my £3,000, here's my Vision Pro. And they're like, alright, yeah, bro, here you go. First off, who bought it in the first place? And then who bought it and decided, instead of being a scalper and selling it on eBay, I'm going to sell it to CEX. And those people at CEX are selling the Vision Pro at quite interesting prices um i'm just gonna pull it up on my computer running mac os 13.6.8 which we mentioned in the last episode the update was pretty good at this at this point why would you buy one from apple <clears throat> they're selling 512 gigabyte models for 29.50 and apple's charging what 30 something hundred for a two so they're selling it they're selling it at a loss? They are. I'm huh. assuming that means that if somebody sells it to them, they don't give them that much. So I can actually check no, I because not. I do sell some. I do sell stuff to these people quite often. I can actually check. If somebody sells CX, a 512 gigabyte Vision Pro, freaking They probably scam. only get like 1500 off of it. They get 2000 out of okay. a $3,500 product. You could probably they could probably sell it on eBay for quite a lot instead. I mean, you could sell now, it on eBay for like five thousand, and somebody would buy it. You guys like crumbs? And I, I I like crumb. <laughs> that was the worst transition in the whole world. But yeah, crumbs, Joseph. Let's talk about crumbs, not the food crumbs, juicy crumb. And not the <laughs> ones. Yeah, the uh, the uh, developer. Which, uh, I haven't I haven't watched I haven't watched Action Retro in a long time, so I have not. And I, on I it. watched I watched Luke Miani's video about it. <clears throat> so Juicy Crumb is the company that allowed you to make a 2011 iMac into a display. Oh, now, that makes sense. You can do the same thing with the iMac oh, yeah. G4. IMAC G4. You know the I sunflower, they're like was. really cool iMac, and it's so sick. 
it just it looks so cool now it's not as cool as the people who literally ripped an iMac G4 apart and put an M1 in it but if I do remember correctly Juicy Chrome did was working on something that would allow you to do that so we'll just have to wait for that that would be pretty sick Juicy Chrome if you're watching when that comes out send me a Mac Mini and an iMac and mm -hmm. I'll do it for you I definitely I definitely don't just want to upgrade to the Mac Mini mm -hmm. Trust me, trust me, guys. I just, I don't, I definitely don't want to. Uh, okay, our next topic. Uh, Google, uh, I almost just called you Google. I was like, Google, see you a Joseph user? <laughs> Joseph, see you a Pixel user? Uh, tell us about the next story. All right, so we have more pictures of more phones. So the Pixel 9 Fold, as we know, is now in the wild when does that when does that when does that even officially release 20 25 huh? one of 25 whoa, 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 wait no guys 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 guys, guys, guys. ios 18 beta 5 mac or sequoia beta 5 the beta 5s have just came but come out like mid filming beta 5s have just released huh okay uh but that okay is, that so that is the beauty okay so i'm gonna assume it's either q4 of this year q1 of next year that they release at least that's what i'm getting yeah. from my information but yeah we have uh -huh. confirmed pictures or we have one confirmed grainy picture of the pixel 9 fold with the Google case on it, so we know we're getting a mm -hmm. Google branded case on the phone. So that's another good thing. Uh huh. So there yeah. are some stuff. I'm gonna read the Reddit thread to you guys of some of the features in the new iOS 18 beta before we continue. We're literally interrupting the episode because Apple just decided to perfectly <laughs> release the beta. Okay. People are complaining that the Instagram icon still doesn't fit with dark mode. The Bluetooth <laughs> toggle has been hidden in Control Center and AirDrop has been moved. That's quite interesting because why would they hide the Bluetooth, am I right? That's Apple. True. Now, uh, I, as far as I can see, there is no news about any new carriers supporting RCS. There's a new dark mode map icon apparently, though I don't think that's true. So. Hmm. Safari is better, apparently on the update, and the battery life feels better. I wish. Apparently they... <gasps> Let's go! They finally... Oh my god, they made the Photos app look slightly better! I don't know what it looks like yet, but yes. Apparently it does work. They also changed the emoji keyboard back to the cool one. The touch screen... The How many touch times have they changed the emoji issues, keyboard? Exactly, this is the third time. The touch screen issue in CarPlay has been fixed. I, I didn't even know that was an issue. And the update is 2 gigs, and for some people, it's even 3.4 gigabytes. So, Ooh. I can't really say for sure how many of these reports are lies or not, because I haven't received the up. I haven't checked my phone for the update yet. But I can go now and confirm how big the update shows up as for me, and settings, general, software update. Um, also, this video is sponsored by Opera GX, said no one ever. Alright, uh, Joseph, uh, while I'm trying to get the upgrade update screen loading, do you want to talk about the whole M4 Max? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, it's 2.76 gigabytes. Mm, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. Would you like to talk about the, what was the next article again? Oh yeah, M4 the M4 fact Max. that we are now confirmed to get an M4 Mac Pro, M4 iMac, and M4 Mac Mini before the end of this year, so we'll probably have a Mac event in October. Ooh, that'd be interesting. I can't wait. Hopefully it's not at 1am on my dad's birthday, again. 1am? Really? Oh, yeah, right. last time it was at my 1am. 
So, uh, I don't know if this is only on Apple Intelligence devices, but there's a new feature called Distraction Control in Safari on Beta 5, and it's really cool. It literally lets you hide different things like ads and stuff from Safari. I cannot click any windows on my desktop. Real. So, yeah, that's cool. Our next story is that if you have breached your HomePod, there is now a way to fix it. I don't know much about this, but yeah, that's great. Thanks for watching. Just kidding. There's more stories. Next one is about our good friends over at NVIDIA. Joseph? Uh, well, it, it'd help if I could, uh, actually click on the window, but it seems Explore is frozen. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, maybe... Okay, what is happening? Hold up. We're having some, uh some issues here all right so I'll talk about it Wait, then where'd the page go um so basically the um fried chicken why am I what <laughs> Nvidia showed off somebody using a vision pro to control an entire robot we are really doomed the age of AI starts now uh guys Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I think I'm just going to be living under my desk for the rest of my life so that the AIs don't get to me. Right? <laughs> um, <laughs> right, look, look, look. Look, look. I'm going now under my desk. <laughs> this is my new house. I shouldn't have done that with my with my chair right in front of me. Damn. Okay. So, Joseph, would you like to talk okay, about our so final topic? Okay, so it seems the uh Wait, which one? Cuz uh, half of my web pages have disappeared that I was getting my news the from. 5060. <laughs> okay, yeah. That page did not did not close. Okay, that's good. So, cool. We are. We finally confirmed the RTX 5000 specs. Not that. Not like anybody's going to be able to afford it. But yeah, PC gamers are already unhappy with the specs, which is not mm -hmm. great. Uh, let's uh, see here. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. There yeah. is a new change in the beta because I'm actually looking at the beta changes while Joseph is talking, and that is that uh, control center icons are also now more transparent. Okay, that's quite interesting. But yeah, Joseph, back to the NVIDIA stuff. While I'm trying to find more stuff. Yeah, so... Okay. Getting... Uh, okay, so it seems like we're going to be stuck on GDDR6 rather than advancing to GDDR7 on the latest. I'm not entirely Common sure. Common NVIDIA L. No, we're not entirely sure if we're going to get that, but top end 5090 is going to have, I don't, I have not, I have not, like, done any. I have seen I've that the 5060 has 8 gigs of VRAM, apparently. So, there is no freaking there's no picture on the article but the art there's an article that claims 5090 says 28 gigabytes mm -hmm. so yeah uh yeah it's kind of crazy honestly but yeah apparently apple might have actually fixed the free uh, the free 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 the um um Photos app. Apparently it looks better now. But I can't figure it out. 
I can't test it until I'm able to install it. So, uh, Joseph, are we gonna do the other thing? The last thing? Uh, the NVIDIA robot? Or did we already talk about that? No, we already talked about that. Below the 50 series thing. Oh, the longer demo of Chirp. Uh, so, yes. I think last week we talked about Chirp a little bit. I haven't. So, Joseph. I actually have not been um, on it since like that second day, but. Mm hmm. Yeah, so, we're getting a longer demo of it. What were you gonna say? Yeah. So, after the podcast, Joseph is gonna get to steal my YouTube channel. That's right, Joseph is stealing my YouTube channel so that he can demo Chirp because I'm not editing the video because he's the news widget editor. I mean, I already have Chirp though. And I'm, and I'm just, I'm just the guy who, I'm just the guy who, I don't know. Um, so, which one, oh my god, my ping is at 1044. Anyways, which one of us should demo Chirp? Joseph, what do you think? Uh, I mean, I already have access to the, to like everything already, so. Yeah, just so you know, you could don't do any and posting I can go or ahead anything. And Cause there is some new maintenance going on, so I don't even know if you can post. Oh, yet. I accidentally posted. Oh my god! I, I just posted. <laughs> 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 okay, anything else you'd like to discuss before Joseph steals my channel? Okay, so um recently I have made a money purchase and bought the KZ Castor. Just the Harmon version, not the improved base version. And Bro spent money. These oh are, my god, what again, is wrong with Apple KZ. servers? The beta update Wait, now what? says it's gonna take eight hours to download. What's happening? Oh. What's happening? Oh, now it's down to three hours. What is happening? <laughs> what? What? <coughs> right. Joseph is right, also so anyway, uh, Just Yeah, I sold my. I, yeah, I got my set camera sold, and I figured out what camera I'm going to get. So if you're in the cameras, then I'm getting the Olympus OMD EM1 original, not the Mark II, not the Mark III, the original one. And if you know anything about cameras, it is a really good camera for the price and the age of it. But yeah, so right. about by by next week I should have that camera, and I should have it by next podcast. Nice. So. Anything else before we end off? Um, Actually, I have one thing. Thank you guys for the support on the last episode. I'm sure everyone loved when I threw a phone on the floor. So there, I threw another phone on the floor. You guys happy? I'll do it again. Okay. I'm never throwing a phone on the floor again. Okay. You guys are never gonna get to okay, see I me do have another thing. I do have floor. another thing. Mm-hmm. I do have another thing. So, uh, my iPhone 6 on iOS, or my iPhone 5 on iOS 6.0 sold. I sold it for $100 plus shipping. Rip. To a Redditor, actually. And he actually posted it. He posted a picture of it. He took it to work and he actually dailied it. So, I'll, I'll put oh it Oh my god, that like is that. sick. But yeah. That is absolutely yeah, yeah, sick. I, I actually, I saw the post this morning and yeah. It's like, hey, I remember How that. How cool is that? Yeah, sure enough, it was the same <laughs> guy. So yeah, that's that's. Oh my cool. god, that's sick. Do you have an eBay return address? <laughs> I hope you don't, because now uh, this random redditor just knows where you live. That's funny. <laughs> I mean, also, if you sell on eBay, you yeah. Is that the expiry? Yeah, I need your help with it, actually, but like I said earlier, we're going to do that after this episode. So, Joseph, is there anything else you'd like to talk about before we end off this episode? I don't know why I'm talking uh, so fast all of a sudden. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Right. Well, the beta update is now down to nine minutes remaining. 
I don't even know anymore. But yes, with that, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of the News Media Podcast. Uh, as always, I am one of your hosts. My name is Ramin from this YouTube channel, Ramin's Tech. And... And this is Joseph from Joseph Video Tech. So subscribe to my channel and Ramin's channel. And have a good day. Yeah. Yep. Bye-bye, everyone.